got a shelf for the background. I'm just kidding, I already opened it. See the shelf? I watched Peter McKinnon's video. His video is called Your Background Sucks. Tips and tricks that I have so that you guys can build backgrounds pretty much anywhere you're shooting. I need to wait for two fine prints right now. Those are on the way, so the backdrop will be much more appealing to you guys, and I'm really happy and stoked about the background. So that's a plus sign. Welcome to another episode of Camera Talk and today we are going to talk about the Canon EOS RP again but this time we are going to talk about the settings, we are going to dive a little bit deeper to the technical stuff. I'm going to explain to you guys why I use these settings and which settings I actually use for my photos and my videos. But before we proceed I'm going to put up a timer and I'm going to look how long it takes me to make you guys understand this much better so let's put up the time. So today we're going to split this video in two parts, we're going to talk about the photography settings I use when I'm taking photos and the video settings when I'm vlogging, I'm making b-roll. Without further ado, let's get into it. So let's start with photography. When I'm shooting photos, I always shoot in raw format. Raw format is just the best option out there. I shoot the flexibility to manipulate and adjust the lighting, the shadows, the contrast, the colors. If your camera doesn't have raw format, you can use JPEG, but J JPEG is, it loses a lot of data, a lot of information. I prefer raw format instead of JPEG. So for the white balance I always shoot auto white balance and that's because of the fact that when I'm out shooting I'm all over the place, I'm on different location taking different shots. The white balance for that can change depending on the location and I tend to forget to change my white balance often so I always use auto white balance guys. For the picture profile, for the picture profile I use neutral picture profile because it's me um, the most basic and flat look so when I'm editing it it looks much more better with my preset and it looks just amazing but the only thing I adjust for the picture profile is the contrast I put on the contrast by minus four that's why I use neutral picture profile for every time when I go out and shoot my photos for the focus when I'm shooting photos I use one point autofocus so it's dead in the center sometimes use manual focus but that depends on the type of photo I want so if I want a more difficult photo I use manual focus if I want a more basic and much easier composing photo I always use one point out of focus and for the last thing I use high speed shooting or high continuous shooting is it also called it gives me the ability to shoot at a rapid pace so I don't miss any moment one perfect picture the one perfect moment where the sun rays come closely to the face the facial expression is just beautiful but that those moments can last for less than a second and if you don't know what high speed shooting continuous is that's why I'm shooting high-speed continuous or high-speed shooting. Those were the photography settings I use when I'm shooting photos. I bought this lighting last week and I used this plastic bag for some diffusion because I forgot to buy some diffusions. Like I need to get used to lighting my own setup. Let me know in the comments down below if you like it or not, if you like the setting I'm using, but this is the first time for me so I'm just trying things out. So I wanted to mention that because this is my first time using light, I'm the type of guy who shoots only with daylight, used to lighting my own setup and things like that, so if you have any recommendations leave them in the comments down below so I can better my look. Now let's talk about the video settings I use when I'm vlogging and shooting some b-roll so let's start off with vlogging when i'm out vlogging 90 percent of my shots i take are shot in 23.98 frames per second which is basically 24 frames per second after the firmware update so the most of the head talking shots are shot in 24 frames per second and the audio i use the audio i try to do it manually but I screw it up many times. If you find those in previous videos, let me know in the comments down below if you find those audio errors. But now I'm just shooting auto and it really helps me because the audio is great, the audio is amazing. So I can't complain right now, the audio is great. So I shoot my audio on auto. I use the picture profile neutral, minus four, exactly the same 
as photography but now in video format so neutral picture profile minus four and if you don't know how it looks before it is edited before after before after before after. pretty dope isn't it but the white balance is exactly the same like photography I use auto white balance and the reasoning is exactly the same and I tend to forget I need to do my white balance so if the camera can assist me why not I use auto white balance every single time when I'm out vlogging so for the AF speed for the autofocus speed I always bump it up to two the highest amount because I want my focus to be dead and crazy fast AF speed to the highest because when I'm out and about shooting I just want the camera to focus crazy fast without you guys seeing the camera just struggling to focus on my face and it's just it looks horrible it looks not that good talking about about focus again I use one point focus and I tap on the LCD screen on the dead center of the screen so when I'm looking down the lens everything is in focus my face is in focus so everything is good everything is seamless so that's why I'm using these settings for autofocus after rambling about 45 minutes about the vlogging settings let's head to the b-roll settings and the b-roll settings aren't that different the only small changes are the frame rate because I'm shooting my b-roll always in 60 frames per second I slow that down in post in Premiere Pro I slow that down by 70 to 50 percent so it's seamless it looks good This timer is a real life countdown for how long it took me to explain it to you guys and it's not about the time I don't want to drag it out that long just want to give my two cents on the Canon EOS RP and the settings I use to create the content I do but if you got something out of it smash that like button make sure you subscribe and leave in the comments down below what what settings you guys are using and if you guys got something out of this video hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys are safe. See you guys in the next video. Ciao.